Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Hira Khalid and today we are going to start our new chapter. I hope uh, the previously what we have done before the pandemic situation and this lockdown, we talk about the carbonyl containing compounds and we discuss about their structure, their bonding and their properties. We do uh, discuss the different acyl nucleophilic addition reactions in which we have discussed the carbon nucleophiles. And now we are coming towards another very important topic. This is ketoenol tautomerism. So um, before this, um, starting this lecture, I would assume that you are taking care of yourself and you are taking precautions as well. So one more thing is, that I have decided that I will share you uh, with you these recordings and I will also upload this on FCC Moodle and a PDF file. So you are very welcome for the questions. So for the patronizing that how we will go for this online teaching is that I will uh, upload the new videos or the lectures related uh, material on Monday and Tuesday on every Monday and Tuesday, because uh, for this course, we need almost a three contact hours because this is a full cadre hours and we will cover most of our practicals in that theory classes. So um, I will upload and I will uh, identify your lectures and theories, the full week work on Monday and Tuesday. So Wednesday will be your assessment uh, that will be uploaded on the Moodle and that is graded because now we have to keep and we have to monitor and we have to assess your performance as well. So that grading is important and you have to respond to all of these activities because there will be precise time for every assignment, every task, and you have to fulfill in that duration. So after that, that assessment is not uh, available for uh, uploading for submission. So please, I would request you that you respond to these tasks and you very attentively listen to these recordings and do some efforts. I have recommended you a textbook else also, and you can go for different teaching resources as well. I will share uh, some of uh, the relevant videos where I find that they have covered the very good lecture of my some of my friends who are abroad and here are all they are also running their channels or they are teaching chemistry so wherever i find that they have explained it nicely so there is no need to make another separate video so then i will share the link uh, with you so one more important thing that i will share my youtube channel which i have created for um coping with that scenario so you can go for that recording on that channel so uh, right uh, hopefully now we are going to start the keto in all tautomerism so uh, as a name um, uh, you can get the idea from the name that uh, this is a keto ketamine this is something related with the ketone functionality then there is the enol in is for the alkenes which is double bond and all is for alcohols so now the one thing which is maybe not familiar with all of you is the tautomerisms. I will tell you what the tautomerism is. So tautomerism is basically the conformational, this is the conformational um, isomer of a compound. So whenever, so tautomerism is a process of interconversion for tautomers and in simple words, tautomers are the constitutional isomers of two compounds that readily interconvert between one and another. So I can um, show you by drawing in this build by using that one then what it is actually. So basically, if you just look at this, that here I am writing, A ketone right so this is a ketone 
and there is a certain number of carbon, there are a certain number of oxygen, there are a certain number of hydrogen. So now what is happening in the tautomerism that only the position of the connectivity or the, there is a one group which has shifted from its position to another one. So it means the functionality has changed with the same number of carbon hydrogens and any other had to atom as the same one. So if I go for its keto enol tautomer of that ketone, so you will see that this is the this is the keto enol tautomers of each other. So this is the keto form and this is the enol form, right? So now switching to our slides where I have the different reactions which I wanted to discuss with you and how this ketoenol tautomerism occur and what are the certain conditions when the ketone jump into the ketoenol uh, enol, it's enol tautomer, right? So there are the two kinds of uh, factors you can say there are the two kinds of reactions under which a ketone converted and this conversion is the intermolecular conversion so this is within that same molecule right so there are the two um, uh, kinds of factors two kinds of catalyzed reactions under which a ketone go for its enol tautomer so first one is the base catalyzed ketoenol form and another one is the acid catalyzed ketoenol tautomerism. So before going into the mechanism of each, you should know that there is the overall product is the same, means the ketone form or the keto form will convert into enol form. But the sequence of event has a little change because in one case, we are using the base and in another case, we are using the acid. So let's go for the base first. So the step one and step two. So you can see here, right? And there is, you can see that here is the take a proton a base, we know that this is a Lewis base, it's a nucleophile, it is rich in an electron, and that will remove an alpha hydrogen to give an enolate in nine. And nine means now the carbon has a negative charge, right? Intermediate, that is stabilized by resonance delocalization of the negative charge. So I would explain through the equation that what is happening in this step one. So let's say this is the acetone, right? And there is, this is a keto form and B is, right, right now we are discussing a general type of reaction. So you can add any base and then you have to put the product according to that one. So right now I am sharing with you the general reaction. So this is the keto form and there is a base. It's the Lewis space. It has a uh, lone pair of electrons. So what is you are looking for it? And we already have discussed with you that this carbonyl is basically uh, resonant, stabilized also. And this is making that carbon electrophilic when there is the transition from this double bond to when the oxygen take its electrons back to that, right? So firstly, if there is a base, so definitely that will take up the proton. Now, one important take of these type of reactions that this proton will be uh, taken by alpha carbon. So now what's the alpha carbon is? So alpha carbon is the carbon which is just next to the carbonyl group, right? So now in that case, there are the two alpha carbons. So you can treat any of the proton 
in that case because this is the similar one. It's both sides are equal. So the alpha hydrogen is the hydrogen which is attached to alpha carbon. So now the base is taking up that proton and it means that carbon hydrogen bond is breaking. Now this electrons will shift to the carbon making its carbon anion and to convert into the stable form because carbon anion is not a very stable species. So this oxygen is taking back its electron here and this electron will shift to that one to establish a new bond between the carbon and carbon and that is a carbon and carbon double bond, right? So now you have seen that there is an oxygen negatively charged, there is a double bond. So now this is somehow the oxygen which is a negative charge and there is the double bond. So this is an intermediate that is stabilized by resonance delocalization, right? Now the second step is because we have in a medium, the base, and it has taken a bad proton from that ketone. So this, these events are continuously in a cycle of any particular reaction. So now what is happening that this base, another molecule of that base came here and that uh, oxygen, because now this is very much rich in an electron and it is very good nucleophile. And now this is taking up that proton from the base and it is converting into the enol form, and this is a base. So basically this is alkenol, right? And for this, we write it in a general and short form. This is an enol form of that particular ketone. So in a base catalyzed ketoenol tautomerism, what is the first step? That there is a base. So base is taking up the proton, and that proton is the alpha proton, and if you have a molecule which has the both sides equal, and on a both side there is alpha hydrogen, so it will take up any of that alpha hydrogen, converting into an enolate enine intermediate, which then stabilizes by the resonance delocalization. And when there is another proton in a system, so that will attach and that will hydrolyze that oxygen and converting into the alcohol. Now the next thing is. We will go for the second kind of reaction, and this is the, I don't know why it's not working. Let me, let me do this. Okay. Yeah. So now we are moving to the next. Next slide. This is the acid catalyzed ketoenol tautomer. So um, hopefully you get the idea that what the enol form is and how a keto is converting into, in, into the enol one. So now assume that we are providing an acid now a case where there is more hydrogen and an acid is easily dissociatable and it can give the proton. So it, may, it means that this oxygen, which is a carbonyl one, right? And that is basically for, and this is basically the, have the two non-bonding electrons and there is a possibility that it can resonate and that can make, take up that hydrogen and it can easily convert into the oxonium ion. That would be an intermediate because that is again not stable and it had to go for the more stable form. So in a first step in the acid catalyzed reaction, the proton is captured via in base, the proton was taken up. The base was taking a proton, right? So the, this is the reverse one. Now this is fast and reversible because oxonium then going back to this one. So this is the reaction, which is an irreversible reaction. So now this is a base and which is a conjugate base of that acid. So it will take up that proton and we will get that one from that. It will take again that alpha proton of that system, right? 
So now this is the slow and the redetermining step. And here you can see this will stabilize. This proton bond will broken, right? And here, this CH2, again, in the similar backward case, this bond is breaking and this electrons are shifting to establish a new bond between the carbon, carbon double bond. And this has hydrolyzed because now this pi electron has shifted to oxygen and oxygen, it, it's more stable oxidation state. It is not sh uh, sharing its lone pair of electrons. So now this is not the charged one, right? And here we got that acid as a result, right? So this is the enol form, and this is the acid catalyzed reaction. I wanted to share another slide with you. This is basically the kind of type of bonds and pK values. So this is just to give you an idea that which is more stronger acid. So ethanol has a lowest pK value, is the most stronger acid. If you compare with the ketones, if you compare with the alkynes, alkenes, and alkenes one. So whatever the product is forming. So you have to see that in which condition or in which direction your reaction will move. So obviously, if you are having the product in your reaction system, which is a most stronger acid. So that is easily dissociatable. So it, uh, the reaction will reverse in that direction, right? So this is an information to give you the idea that which is a stronger acid and which is the <clears throat> less stronger than the alcohols one. So if you compare the alcohol with ketones, alkynes and ketones and alkenes, so alcohols is on the priority and this is on the top number, right? So this is the lecture about the keto enol tautomerism. So once you uh, came to know about the, what the keto enol tautomerism is and what are under what condition and ketone, a ketone can convert into the enol uh, conformation. So then that will be easier for you to cop on the next um, lectures where we will discuss some of their reactions, oxidation and reduction one. So that concept was very really important. So please practice these one. I will upload and I will give you the assessment question, which is on that slide and I will share with you on um, the Moodle as well. So this is the graded assignment and you have to um, work on it. So meanwhile, if you have the question, so you can ask me, but do practice this one and you have to submit it on the Moodle. Uh, uh, for getting that recording or for getting that material or for submission of that assignment, if you are facing any problem, so please do write me. You have my email ID you uh we are on a whatsapp group as well so you can share with that right so um this is your assignment in the first question you have to draw a null form of following ketones um so the one hint is this one that it will go for the alpha hydrogen so a molecule can have the more than one alpha hydrogen so you have to draw all these forms which are possible all these in all forms which are possible. The second question is draw the structure formula for keto form of each in all. So these are the in all forms and you have to draw it starting from which ketone that in all has generated. So for this, for today, this is um, uh, for today and you just work on it. I'm trying to keep the videos shorter because so everyone could um, get the information even you have the slow internet connectivity so take care of yourself and 